All right, everyone, how's it going? Well, today we're going to do an unboxing of the rotor. Okay, and I've got here a kitchen scale, just in case you guys want to check out the weight, whether it's authentic or not, based on what they said on the website and based on what we actually have. We'll go into it really quick and please do comment if you've got any comments, um, like, subscribe, and um, let's start hitting with the unboxing. Okay, so let's try. This is the boost. I don't know if you can see it, but the written words are, oh, there you go. There you go. Boost. That's it. Okay. Um, it feels quite heavy. We will take the weight of the products later on. Right now, just open up and we'll put it up to the weighing scale in a bit. All right. this so this is how it looks like everything is all included here as you can see there you go sorry all oh, the spaces and i think this is where it's gonna clamp onto the um keyring very similar to that of uh what do you call that race face no looks similar so the box is just one side is in that way and then the instruction booklets are here as well. So. Ah, extremely smart. It actually opens up. No. Oops, it doesn't open up. I thought I was being a noob. There you go. The instruction booklets. Yep. How it works. That's good. Gonna help my LBS. Next one would be the chain ring itself. Oval chain ring. I don't remember buying an oval chain ring. Let's see if it's really oval chain ring. Oh wow, so that's how it looks like, eh? Very nice. I bought a 28 one, because this one will most probably go into my wife's bike. Very likely. Does it look oval, does it? It looks circular to me. I like the, um, you know, the way that the products are machined, really nice, very clean. I like the detailing of the words here as well, very bling. Made in Spain, Ooh. so potentially it could be for my Orbea, eh? Nice box, the weight in a bit. Instruction booklet over there as well, as you can see. Nice presentation. And the last one here is the crank itself, the Raptor crank. I wanted to buy the k pick but the price difference is quite a bit. I bought this from a German site, so I understand the weight is also very different between the two, but the price is scarily different on the k pick versus the Raptor. The boxing itself is very nice, you know. This is how it looks like, the box, I like it. I think it's awesome, it's sexy, very nicely packed. And then uh, let's see how it goes like opening it. Ah, there you go. So it comes with the boot, uh, the crank boot. So this is how it looks like from the inside, from the back, oh, sorry. So I guess you need to remove this one first and so on and so forth. I'm just buying this, but my LBS will be fixing for me, so. That's about it, basically. Sorry about the background noise. I'm doing this in the afternoon, and for some reason, it's very, very, very noisy today. I'm sorry. So there you go. So this is the other arm. I think this is the drive side on my right-hand side, the non-drive side on my left-hand side. Looks-wise, it's very nice. I can bet you it's gonna be very heavy. It feels heavy. Trust me, it feels really heavy. So I'm assuming that this is basically meant for, you know, enduro or downhill. So it's got to go into one of my enduro bikes instead. 
But because this one here, if I'm not mistaken, I bought the 165. So that's on my wife's new, oh, sorry, on my wife's new bicycle. It's not indicated here, it is. Oh, it is, it is, it is. There you go, can you see? 165. So this part will very likely go to my wife's um, Vetus. It's coming in soon. Woo! Can't wait. All right, so we'll take the weight of the products individually in a short while. Right on. So you can see that this is actually calibrated already, empty. Let's see what the scales tell us. Fifty-eight grams for the twenty-eight T chainring. This one is twenty-eight T. Okay, there you go. And after which we have the axle. There you go. One thirty-six gram for the axle itself. Lastly, for the crank arms, inclusive of boots and whatever other components required, is five, six, six grams. I mean, I don't know. It, it, it seems okay to me. I mean, I used to have um, what do you call that brand called the Race Face Ride, if I'm not mistaken. So. Overall was okay. And um, that's about it, basically. So overall itself, we've put up to the weight. I'll put the, you know, in the content as well with regards to what they say online. And then after which, um, we call it a day. Well, thanks for watching this really quick video. It's just a product unboxing as well as weighing. I don't really see many rotor parts online on YouTube. So I hope you guys appreciate the time that I took to make this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Take care for now. See you around.